So we have three circuits here and we need to find firstly the equivalent resistance of each one but also the ratio of the currents in each branch. I'm actually going to start with the easiest one first which is this one where each branch has the same resistance which is those two resistors. So the first thing we're going to sim do is simplify that where each of those two in series can be replaced by an equivalent of 2 times R. So now let's find the equivalent resistance of those by treating them as a parallel circuit. So we have 1 and RP equals 1 and R1, which is 2R, plus 1 and R2, which is 2 over 2R. So RP is just R. So in other words, when we have two equal resistors in parallel, the equivalent is just half of the resistance of each of them. And of course, the ratios of the currents, how they split up, since you can see just by symmetry that they're equal resistances and therefore the current will split equally between them. So the ratio of the currents there is one to one. Now the next one, let's go for the one with a single resistor up the top but three of them down the bottom. And remember of course the first thing we do to simplify that is have keep the single at the top but we just have a single at the bottom that is 3R. Now we can find that 1 over RP equals 1 over R plus 1 over 3R. So I will make that, put them over the same denominator, 3 over 3R plus 1 over 3R equals 4 over 3R. So RP, because we always have to remember that is 1 over RP, RP is 3 quarters of R. Now for the ratio of the currents, where you've got two branches, and there are two ways we could do this. Let's just start with assuming that we have a voltage V across the two of them. So we have the current in branch 1 will be V over R. The current in branch 2 would be V over 3R. In other words, R1, I1, will be 3 times I2. So the ratio will be 3 to 1 of current in the top branch to current in the bottom branch. And I'll continue over the page. Now our third circuit has three branches. We have R in the top and R in the second, and then two lots of R in the third. So the first way you would simplify that is by saying that that's equivalent to R here and R here, and 2R down the bottom branch. So the equivalent resistance of that parallel circuit will be 1 over R plus 1 over R plus 1 over 2R. Putting them all over the same denominator we have 2 over 2R plus another 2 over 2R plus 1 over 2R which is 5 over 2R. So RP itself which is the inverse of that is 2 fifths of R or 0.4 times R. Now as for the ratios, we've got two branches with equal resistance and one with double the resistance. So if we imagined that our top branch, let's just call that 1, the second branch would have equal current, so that would be 1 as well, but the bottom branch which is double the resistance would only have a half 
So we don't really like fractions in our ratios though. So we could treat the ratios as 2 to 2 to 1 being the top branch, middle branch and bottom branch. In other words, 2 and 2 and 1 add up to 5. So 2 fifths of the current go through the top, 2 fifths go through the middle and 1 fifth goes through the bottom one and that all adds up to the full current.